So Sunset Communications partnered with Hot Renvy to promote their designer sale uh, by creating an impactful and exciting mass outreach program targeted to the Asian communities in Toronto and Vancouver in order to achieve the campaign objective which was focused on driving in-store traffic, increased spend with their existing customers, but as well as to bring in new customers. Because the challenge was essentially to how can we brand this authentically amongst the Chinese consumer group while holding on very strongly to Paul Renview's iconic heritage as well as their leadership position in the, in the luxury retail space. So what we did was the first task to solve this challenge was to figure out, well, who exactly are the best customers that we should be going after? What are they like and where can we find them? So working with our proprietary acculturation framework and also as well as using our authentic branding process, we were able to together collaboratively work with their CRM team to identify three core segments. One, the, the young and the affluent, two, the aspiring immigrant group as well as three, the emerging sophisticates. The main tagline that we use when back translated to English reads, Halt Renview, as a palace of brands, come find out how to dazzle up your summer through the summer sale. And the cultural significance in, in this is it's able to reflect um, or leverage the sale message as a call to action while not sacrificing Hot Renview's leadership position as a luxury retailer. So this campaign focused on creating a mass outreach program. And typically, you know, a lot of people understand mass outreach as using TV, using print, or other forms of mass media. But to us here at Sense of Communication, what mass outreach means is to be able to identify who are your best customers, where are they spending their time, what are they like, and then going to the places where, where they are at in order to reach ma mass influence. Um, so in this case, we leverage social media, Sina Weibo, and other local community pages. We leverage online flash banners on websites that they like to spend their time on, as well as place-based initiative, targeted initiatives, going to upscale hair salons, going to resto lounges that they're typically at anyways, and, and positioning the message there. This, In this way, Hall Review was able to generate better efficiencies for their media budget. The criticalness of using Chinese social media in, in order to engage this group of customers is so important because they actually represented 45% of all web traffic that we drew to this Chinese landing page within the hotrenview.com domain. And the key message was basically amplified because of social media 5.1 times. What this means is for every one person that was paid to receive this message, an additional five other people became aware of it. Our targeted group of customers, predominantly those three core target segments we talked about, represented actually 45.3% of all in-store traffic in this campaign period. And of this percentage, they actually drove 51% of gross sales, which is pretty incredible when you think of it from a, a pie chart perspective, where half of these sales were driven by one single group of customers. Um, there was a 7.7% .7 lift in the average spend. So compared to last year, they've actually managed to get them to spend more, which means we have achieved the campaign objective. Um, in terms of total customer base, we drove 2.7% more customers into the store than compared with last year.